bit of gold. Never hurt anybody. Deep mushroom, I believe, is poison, is it not? And so I shall. Yeah, let's do a save. There's the ticket. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. I could buy that. How can I help you? Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. I'll take a look. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. Some of these are, in my opinion, a little difficult for me at this stage in the game. Things like collecting 10 health potions, which I can really do better uh, keeping for myself. My power is waning. I, Krabalush, the epithet, require a reconnection to the places I have left behind. You, the bearer of this note, shall travel to these places and trace upon them my personal glyphs, claiming their eldritch energies for my own. You will come upon these sites of mystical power in the ancient places of the world, the Brazilian forest, the deep roads, the heart of Derenim, and near the base of the Circle Tower. Well, all right. Um, sure. I don't know if any of these are bad. Careless accusations, the activities of the Maleficarum on my doorstep did not go unnoticed, and now I am in danger of being brought before the Templars myself. A small band of drifters claim to have seen me practicing forbidden arts, and they have left to deliver testimony of my alleged deeds to the Chantry. Uh, I asked the Mages Collective to find and stop these false witnesses by any means necessary. They were traveling along the road from Lothering to Denerim, where their lies will seal my fate. There comes a time in each young mage's life that he must strike forth from beneath the shadow of his mentor, mentor, mentor. For my three young and unremarkable apprentices, this time is now. He who accepts this calling takes it upon himself to deliver documents of congratulation to my apprentices, who will no doubt be uninformed as to the content of the missive. The apprentices' names are Stark, Alina, and Sheth. I have cleverly sent them away from my abode so that they may receive this information in a public place, thus guaranteeing the safety of my willing courier. You will find two of them in Denerim. The other is procuring a slightly rare item from Orzammar. And be sensitive. I would not wish harm upon their delicate feelings. That doesn't sound like it's going to go as smoothly as he's suggesting. Thy brother's killer! My worst fears have been realized. A band of devilish Maleficarum, uh, Maleficarum, I don't know how you pronounce that, are performing their profane rituals within close proximity of my own sanctum. This I cannot stand. I, Jubasto, charge he who accepts this request to destroy the fiends before their evil brings unwarranted attention from either Templars or demons to my back door. Travel the Brazilian forest and slay these blasphemers. Alrighty. Disaster! So consumed have I been in my personal projects that I have neglected to collect vital components of herbal remedy I used to sharpen my mind for thoughts of the uh, the, wor the other world. Without it, I am ruined. Ruined! I will humbly reward any who bring me ten bundles of deep mushrooms. With this, I can continue in my quest for enlightenment, with a clear mind and fewer bouts with drowsiness and indigestion. May he who accepts this request be showered in riches and love from the Maker's heart for this noble and selfless ask act. This is literally my salvation. Alright, that's one of those ones where hmm, I would rather keep the mushrooms for myself, but... You know, what can you do? Why, bless my soul, what's a distinguished personage like yourself doing here? I was looking to get across the lake to the tower. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. No one's been allowed across the lake for days. What? I'm the ferryman. Leastwise, I used to be. Poor old Kester. Out of a job. But 
If I cross the lake without holding my breath, my lungs will fill with water. That cannot be good. So, I can't get across. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Lissy, named for my grandmum she was. Who Carol was or your boat? I should get going. Who's Grigor? Is something wrong up there in the tower? I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. Well, if they didn't tell you nothing, what did they tell you? I should get going. Is there no way to get across? But I have to get there on official business. How could you not know? You live close by. Do I look like a Templar? A mage? Why would they tell me anything? I have to find out what's well, going on. Well, you go on ahead. Gregor tells me to stay here. I stay here. I reckon the fellow knows what he's talking about. Not too bright, then, are you? What are your opinions of the Circle? I reckon it's good for them mages. Gather them all, learn them some proper magics. I know what they say about mages, but the Maker made them for a purpose. If you can't trust him, who can you trust? So, do you know the Knight Commander Grigoire well? Oh, I can't say that. I'm lucky he's good enough to give me the time of day. The first enchanter's all right. He's polite as can be, but he's always a little distant if you get my drift. But Gregor will stay to talk. I reckon he likes hearing from us common folk, you know? He's a man to be respected, that Gregor. Uh, I can't stay. Goodbye. All right. Keep safe, you hear? Of course. What do we have here? Ooh, a wall. Oh, no. There's more to it. Good day. Uh, yeah, not bad. Good day, and welcome to the Spoiled Princess. Is there something I can get for you? Why is the inn called the Spoiled Princess? It was my father's idea. He ran the inn before me, and he named it for my sister. She was his little princess. Princess decided the country was too dull for her and moved to Denerim. More glamorous, she said. Well, she was found murdered, robbed of all the trinkets my father bought her with his hard-earned money. My father died of shock and heartbreak. Mother stopped eating, and I got the struggling in. The name stuck. That's a story. I'd like a drink. Of course. What would you like? Uh, firebomb? Ah, but we do have some injury kits, and I suppose I should squander some of my gold on these. Never know. Oh, we need six gold. Lesser injury kit. Lyrium we've been kind of not buying. Um, we're doing all right. I've been forgetting to refill them of Lyrium, so be that good or bad. Elf root. Fire resistance. Suppose I should make some. Oh, an injury kit. <laughs> 